YouTube, YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to another episode of Marvin's Room. As always, thank you guys for joining me wherever you're at in the world. To the new subscribers, welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Guys, listen, I know it's been a minute. I've been, these past couple of weeks, uh, longer than that, actually, I've actually been focusing on uh, my real estate business that I'm doing with my partner. So that's kind of been like the priority for me. So I apologize for the delay in the videos. I know some of you guys really enjoy the videos and you're like, ah, oh, man, I need you to put out more videos, but um, understand that this new venture that I'm doing, well, not necessarily new because I've been in real estate for the past since uh, 2012. Um, but, you know, doing some new projects right now in real estate, and this is kind of, you know, my focal point right now. So I kind of put these videos on the back burner, but I have not forgot about you guys. I'm back. And hopefully I can put out, you know, some videos consistently in the coming weeks. All right, guys. So thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm back for another video. Let's make this happen. Let's do this. Now, um, on to today's video. Are you manifesting anything, let alone a specific person? Are you doing it from love or are you doing it for love? Because there's a big, big difference and I'm seeing and still working with people because I'm still working with people, you know, one on one. So if you guys want to work one on one with me, you know, you most definitely can. My contact uh, details are always in the description below, you know. So something I realized with a lot of people is a lot of you guys are manifesting for love. You're not manifesting from a place of love. And what I mean by that is, is you're doing something because you're trying to get you're doing uh techniques or you're doing whatever it is whatever manifestation you're watching videos or whatever the case may be because you still don't understand that you already are and what i mean by you already are i mean that you are love you don't know that yet you don't feel that yet so what you're trying to do is you're trying to manifest things to give you um which the word I'm looking for. You're trying to manifest things to give you that security, you know, but you don't need to do those things in order to feel secure. You have to already know and be secure in yourself and who you are and in your love for those things to show up. And like I said, what I'm realizing is a lot of you guys are, are, are trying to manifest a specific person just because you think love is over there. You don't know that love is over here. Love's already inside of you and all of the above. You know what I'm saying? So when you manifest from a position of you want or you're doing it for love, you're manifesting from a place of lack. So love really can't show up. Your SP, whoever that may be, can't show up because you're telling yourself, oh, love's over there, love's over there, love's over there. So guess what? Love will always be over there. Love will always be. It will never be right here in front of you. And that's something that I want you guys to really pay attention to, because instead of manifesting that way, you must manifest from a place of love, meaning you want the best and highest good for your specific person. You know, that's manifesting from love. That's real unconditional love for better or for worse. Whatever is good for both parties, whatever is good for your specific person. That's what you want to manifest that you want what's good for them as well. You don't want just what's good for you. And a lot of you guys, I, I, I see and know you have selfish desires. You're, you're, the only reason that you want to manifest your SP back is for selfish reasons. The only reason you're doing these techniques, you know, of living in the end, scripting, whatever, whatever, is for selfish reasons. And you guys have to understand until you get rid of that, you're, you're most likely not going to get what you want. And this is no different than people who, you know, go out and do certain things. Like for instance, there's people in this world who have kids. They have children because they're trying to fill a void. They have kids because they're unhappy and they think having a child or having multiple children will make them happy because they're trying to fill a void and they don't realize nothing can fill that void except their own self-love, their own self-worth. So what ends up happening is they go out and they have kids, but then even after they have the kids, they realize, oh man, I'm still not happy. I'm still, I still feel depressed. I still feel unfulfilled. Why is that? Because they're trying to still use that as an excuse to get love. 
You cannot manifest that way because you will not be happy when you get what you receive, even though you think you will be happy. I'm telling you right now, most likely nine times out of 10, you will not be happy. And people do this with, whether it's with kids, people do this in relationships specifically. Um, people who can do this with money, they they chase money or they chase a, a career and they're like, oh, once I get a hundred million dollars, you know, oh, then I'll be set or, you know, this and that. And it's like, no, you won't because you're still doing it for love and you're not doing it from a place of love. I want you guys to heavily, heavily, heavily understand the difference between doing something, manifesting a specific person, manifesting a job, manifesting a family, kids, children, manifesting anything. What are your motives? Are you doing it for selfish reasons? Are you doing it for love so you can tr feel love, try to get love? Or are you doing it from love, from a place of wholeness, from a place of unconditional, you know, well-being, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. All right, guys. I want you to think about this lesson today because this is a big one and I'm seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of people doing it and they don't realize why they feel like they're struggling with manifesting and they don't realize, you know, why they feel unfulfilled even when they do get what they want. And I'm telling you guys, this is it. It's because you're manifesting for the wrong reasons. You're manifesting for love instead of from love. All right, guys, it's been another episode of Marvel's Room. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. And I will see you guys, as always, next time in the next YouTube.